Few nations are more vital to the future of American security and prosperity than India. This is President Biden's nominee, Eric Garcetti, who cleared the Senate Foreign Committee vote, taking the former LA mayor a step closer to becoming the U.S.'s next ambassador to India. He cleared the panel with a 13 to 8 vote in his favor. In 1990, I visited India as the guest of Ambassador Bill Clark, who served under President H.W. Bush and who was whose son was my college roommate. Inspired by this trip, I started studying Hindi and Urdu in college, Indian and cultural religious history. And at that time, U.S.-India ties languished in the shadow of Cold War mistrust. Annual trade stood at a paltry $2 billion. Defense trade was zero, and military interoperability was non-existence. The very idea of a U.S.-India strategic partnership would have been deemed laughable. Today, the fundamental nature of that strategic partnership is firmly ingrained here in Washington and in New Delhi. 20 years ago, President Biden, when he was chair of this esteemed committee, called for a new and ambitious U.S.-India partnership. And thanks to successive administrations, Democratic and Republican, and the bipartisan work of this committee and Congress, that strong new chapter is upon us. In September, uh, President Biden hosted Prime Minister Modi and their Australian and Japanese counterparts for the first ever in-person Quad Leaders Summit here in Washington to reinforce cooperation among common challenges from COVID to climate. But the U.S. has taken its time getting here. Eric Garcetti was first nominated in July 2021. But his nomination was not brought before the Senate panel after allegations of sexual misconduct against some members of his staff when he held the office of the LA mayor. Uh, but this is uh, one of the most consequential bilateral relationships we have. When Secretary Blinken was uh, in uh, New Delhi last week, much of the breadth and the depth uh, of that relationship was on full display. The last U.S. ambassador to India, Kenneth Juster, stepped down in January 2021. The key diplomatic post has been vacant for two years now. There is no other country uh, around the world that would put itself in a position to have a vacancy open in a strategically important and valuable place like uh, India for two plus years now. As per the procedure in the United States, Eric Garcetti will clear the vote on the floor of the Senate to get through as the next U.S. ambassador to India. If confirmed, I will endeavor to advance our ambitious bilateral partnership